Hey everybody, so I am here in Lutherville Timonium on Sawgrass Court in Pebble Creek Community, um, a highly sought after community at a home that has so many beautiful features I just can't wait to show you. There's a lot of custom built things in this house um, and you're located in an amazing beautiful area. On my way here I saw tons of people out walking, you're close to the fairgrounds so you're close to everything that you're going to need. Um, but this house is absolutely stunning. The price was just reduced to $765 which is seriously a steal because this area houses go for definitely 800 or more um, so you're getting a good deal here so we're gonna start outside I'm gonna start show you guys some of this landscaping going on here now a wonderful thing about the HOA in this community is that they pay for a lot of different things that HOA fee that you pay pays to mow the grass to replace the roof to paint the exterior siding, and to clean your gutters. So really nice, HOA includes a whole lot of stuff. So this is the outside front area. You're located on a court right back here. You've got a driveway and a garage that I'm gonna show you later. But we're gonna head inside and see some of the amazing features of this home. So you walk into this grand entry right here. Beautiful chandelier and staircase. We're gonna start in the kitchen. This kitchen is all custom built. All the cabinetry, molding, everything in this kitchen is custom built. We've got Bianco Rhino Italian marble countertops. You can see they're a beautiful color. They're in great condition. I've got a little breakfast nook over here. Such beautiful natural sunlight. More cabinet space over here. And right over here, I'm going to explain this to you guys a little bit. So you do have a wine rack on this side. And then on this side is actually the refrigerator. Now, the great thing about this refrigerator, because it is beautiful, it's hidden, it matches the cabinetry, which is wonderful, but if that's not something that you enjoy, the sellers are willing to replace the refrigerator with a Fisher stainless steel refrigerator. So if you don't like it, it, it can be replaced by the seller. I'm going to show you guys the floors really quickly because these floors are beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see that. More custom cabinets over here. Some cabinets right here are awesome. Spice racks. Lots of storage. There's one on each side of the stove. It's got an electric stove right here. And another little pull-out drawer, which is the trash can. Sorry, that's not very beautiful, but... Then we've got three ovens. So if you like to cook, and I know I like to cook, and sometimes things need different temperatures, I need to cook at different times. Um, so you've got three different ovens right here built into this island. Let's see, here's the island. We're gonna come over here. We've got a nice setup bar right here, and then these cabinets. Now I'm taking my time with this one because I want you to see all the different details. Because that's what the best fe that's one of the best features about this house. It's all the different details. Alright, so you've got a second little refrigerator here. You can see that some more storage and then the microwave is actually inside this cabinet here alrighty so this is the kitchen it's big it's bright it's got lots of beautiful features and it leads right into probably one of my favorite rooms in the house you've got a gas fireplace Big, tall cathedral ceilings and skylights. You can see the details on the wall over here. And this leads to the back patio. Now there's two exits to the back patio. This is one of them. 
You'll see the other one later. Let's so get a nice patio outside. That fence provides some privacy. And as I said, there's a second exit right off of the dining room, which we're gonna go to next. inside. Alrighty. Now this is the dining room. The first thing I want to point out about the rest of the house is the floors. Wood floors, but this is rec reclaimed oak wood floors. So they're absolutely stunning. They have a vintage feel to them. You've got a very beautifully charming house and these vintage floors just add such a great accent to it all. So you've got this nice chair rail here, an exit back out to the patio, another chandelier, again adding that vintage touch but keeping everything else classic in here. Alrighty, we got some French doors leading into a living room. Built-in um, shelves over here. Second set of built-in shelves. And these floors running throughout. Now the seller is also willing to remove the French doors if it's not something that you want. So it comes with three sets of French doors. You can see them here. You've got your set from the living room into the dining room. This one leads into the hallway. And then those set of French doors over there lead into the kitchen. And the seller is willing to remove those if you don't want that separation. All right, we're going to head downstairs since this is the where we're standing. Again, some really fun features down here. We've got Brazilian cherry flooring and a custom bar. So you've got spice for a wine rack. You've got a sink, more cabinetry down here with some storage. Plug in a blender if you want to make a margarita or something like that. You never know. We're all making our own drinks these days. Alrighty, and we're going to head over into the rest of the basement. Now this is a big basement. I hope you can tell from here. Nice big basement. Lower level would be a great place to entertain, to watch movies. And now we're going to head into a very fun room. This looks like, first off, this looks like it might be an area to put like a pool table, some games down here. I'm telling you, this basement is bigger than it probably looks in the video. Let's head into this last room. This was the workout room. It could be easily turned into a fourth bedroom. Or if you're a dancer, you might like this. All right, now we're down in the basement. You can see all this fun stuff. It's not beautiful, but every house has it and it's necessary to be running. Right? Okay. Let's look at this side too, just so you know that everything is there. Everything's in good working condition. Alrighty. And there is a full bathroom down here with a steam shower. So you've got a shower over here. Ladies, there's a chair so you can sit down when you shave your legs. <laughs> nice feature. Got a sink. And that is the basement. We're going to head upstairs back up to that main level. I'm going to show you the rest of the main level and then we'll finish upstairs. Follow these hardwood floors into the half bath, which is right in here on the main level. Now this room was originally the laundry room. You can see there's still a laundry hookup. There was a laundry hookup as well in the basement. 
And then there's a laundry hookup on the upper level. So you have three options for your laundry. They can be in the basement, main level, or upstairs. Now this is considered a custom built French office. The seller put this in himself and it is absolutely stunning. Very cozy office space. Can lock yourself in here and get a lot of work done. But like I said, if you want to put the washer and dryer back on this level, you have that option. Now the next room I'm going to show you is the mud room, which most homes in this community do not have a mud room. So this was added on by the seller, and it's so nice to have, and it leads directly into the garage. So you've got a nice garage, and I opened the door so we could get some sunlight in here. And that garage leads right into the mudroom. All right, now the last floor is upstairs. Again, this flooring runs throughout the main level and the second level. I'm just gonna give you guys a view what everything looks like. All right, so you've got your master suite here. We're gonna start on this side of the room. You've got some built-in drawers over there. Big windows. Got tall ceilings. And ladies, we've got some built-in closets over here. Now when I say this is a walk-in, I mean this is a walk-in closet. You can see I'm walking around. It makes a big U, nice big circle. You've got some drawers here, which are really great. Lots of space, and you come out the other side. So it makes a big circle, walk-in closet. All right, let's head over to the master bathroom. Like I said, washer and dryer hookup upstairs. Really convenient. Get a double shower. And again, some skylights to offer some light in here with separate location for the toilet. And we've got some, the pantry over here. Quartz countertop and marble flooring. Alrighty, let's go see the rest of the house. Now like I said, this house was recently reduced to 765, which is a really great price for this area. And you're, out, you're getting so many beautiful features in this house. All right, so you've got a room right here. Beautiful windows. A nice big long closet in this room. I know I keep saying it, but this floor runs throughout and it is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Third bedroom with another closet. Nice big closet. Crown molding up here. And the final bathroom that we're gonna see right here. Got a full bath, shower, tub, and then a balcony that overlooks the living room. Alrighty, so this is the house on Sawgrass Court. 
There's a lot of beautiful features about it. If you have any questions, feel free to give a call. Comment on this video. I'd be happy to help you. I'm just giving you one last look of the whole house. So you can see it all one more time. Like I said, lots of custom built things in this house. Beautiful features. And right now this house is vacant. So if this is a house that you wanna see, it's something that you're interested in, we can come see it together. We can do a personal FaceTime and I can open more doors, open more cabinets for you. Um, if you're interested in the property, you can message me directly, you can message the listing agent directly. Um, this is again, the house on Sawgrass Court in Lutherville Timonium. Um, absolutely beautiful, lots of custom built features. It's a great house and it offers so much and it was just reduced to 765.